Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So if you see the title of this video, it might seem a little random, but I'm trying something new where I kind of let my content just be a little more free flowing and random. And today I just feel like drawing Jenna Marbles dogs on my face. I've been feeling kind of in a slump lately. I've been feeling kind of uninspired. So I actually spent some time on my iPad kind of sketching out how I want the look to be because I've never really done a dog look before, but I am willing to try it out today and you guys can come along with me for this journey. So I'm not sure anyone wants to duplicate this so I'm not gonna give a full-on tutorial I'm just gonna kind of go for it and you guys can kind of come along and see how this goes I'm not skilled in drawing dogs but I'm going to do my best I've done a horse look in the past and I've done a giant eyeball look in the past so Hopefully this dog look is not as challenging as I'm thinking it's gonna be, but it probably is gonna be challenging. Dogs have very prominent features that I really wanna capture in this look, so we're gonna do our best to make them come to life. I feel that while doing YouTube, it's very important to do content that you enjoy as well and you're not just posting to make other people happy and I feel that I was kind of starting to go down that rabbit hole of just posting things that I know that have worked in the past and that you guys want to see and I still do enjoy posting that stuff, it's just... I want to have a little bit more freedom to post different kind of content. So Jenna recently got a new dog named Bunny. It's another large greyhound and she is absolutely adorable and I love when they post videos of her. There aren't a ton of photos of Bunny online which is understandable but I'm just using what I can as reference so hopefully I get her looking correct. You guys should comment down below and let me know what kind of YouTubers you like to watch in your free time. I'm always looking for new people. I enjoy watching all kinds of stuff. I watch like all kinds of channels, so I'd be interested to know what you guys are watching. So I think I'm gonna start with Bunny because she is the biggest dog right here. This look, I am using Moon Creations face paints. They're just a water activated face paint. You just basically add water and they become super easy to spread onto your face. Okay, there's no turning back now. I'm gonna lay down a white base all over her body first, just to kind of get the shape mapped out. I should have covered my eyebrows, but we're just gonna kind of make them blend in as best we can. So some of you may not know this, but before I started doing makeup, I was really into drawing and I've drawn ever since I can remember. It's just been something that's always made me happy and come really easily to me and it's just kind of fun for me to do. And then I found makeup and something about it just really stuck. Greyhounds are such interesting looking dogs. They look so proper, I feel like. If you guys have any pets, feel free to send me photos on Twitter or Instagram. Okay, so we've given her a white base to start. I'll clean it up as we go. So Bunny kind of have has little splotches of orange on her, so I kind of want to highlight those and map those out. So I'm going to mix together a brown and orange colored face paint to get that color match. This might not even look like a dog to you guys, but listen, once we get in the shading and stuff, let's pray that it looks like some sort of dog. FDA does not permit the use of this color around the eyes. Well, we are just gonna take a risk. Don't try this at home. Let me put this around my eyes. Not you. 
Okay, so now that we've got the initial shape mapped out, I'm gonna start doing some shading to really kind of bring her face forward. So I'm gonna take my James Charles palette just because it has every single color in here. Just don't know if this looks like a dog. So I'm gonna begin to add some shading around the edge of Bunny. I should have just picked to do one of the dogs to start out, but no, I had to pick all of them. I don't know how realistic looking she's going to be, but I'm doing my best. It's just hard to get it to look right from head on. Let's start drawing in her eyeballs because maybe that'll make her look more real. I'm going to use this lollipop liner by Beauty Bakery. I'm going to carefully draw her eyes. So I think I'm going to draw the little highlights in her eyes just so maybe she doesn't look as demonic as she does right now. It's kind of freaking me out. I'm going to add a little more shading at the bottom. Okay, I think this is pretty close for now. We'll come back to Bunny, but I'm going to start working on the other dogs as well. So first we'll start off with Peach at the top, then Kermit, and then Marbles. So she's kind of a warm toned brown color as well. So we're going to accentuate that. So Peach has some white spots on her. We're going to accentuate those. So I'm going to go ahead and try to draw in Peach's eyeballs. She is my eyebrow hairs are getting in the way, so I'm going to try to put a thick layer of face paint over them. She has almost little eyebrows, so it's not exact, but this is my rendition of Peach. This is as close as I think I'm going to get her. So I'm going to begin to fill in the backdrop area a little bit, just so I can kind of see a little better where the dogs are at. I'm just going to use a nice teal color that actually matches my backdrop. All greyhounds kind of have that little bulbous eyeball sort of thing, so I'm going to kind of highlight that a little bit on Bunny, and we're going to move on to Kermit. I'll come back probably, but I need to move on. I decided I wanted to draw him face on because I think that's how he looks the most flattering in photos. I'm going to be using this photo for reference in case you were curious. Kermit has some little white markings on his chest area, so I'm just going to draw those in. I'm just going to draw in his little eyes, and we're just going to start doing a little bit of shading. And then he kind of has a concerned look on his face, so... I'm going to try to emulate that. And last but not least, I'm going to add marbles in right here. They look close. I feel like if you know Jenna Marbles, you know that these are her dogs. So I'm going to go through and add some further details and finishing touches, and then we will move on to the rest of the face. We're back. And I think I have finished the portrait of the dogs. Now I'm just going to fill in these areas around 
with some foundation just to blend my skin tone together. So for foundation, I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Snow. I'm just going to use a precise brush to kind of carve out around the center. This is probably the weirdest video I've ever filmed. You guys will have to let me know if you like this. Gotta blend down the neck. Can't let people know that we're wearing makeup or anything. And I'm lastly just gonna go ahead and bronze a little bit of the forehead area cuz why not? Alright guys, so that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Again, I'm a huge fan of Jenna Marbles and her dogs and they just make me super happy so I had a lot of fun creating them and drawing them on my face and my own interpretation. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and if you guys want to help me get Jenna and Julian to see this video, please share it on Twitter and Instagram. Whatever you guys want to do to help out, I would really appreciate. If you guys want me to do more videos like this, maybe we can make this a series where I draw things on my face. I can draw animals random objects, whatever you guys want to see. Let me know what I should do next on my face down below and maybe we can make that happen. And if you guys like this kind of content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And don't forget to turn on that bell so you're notified next time I upload. If you guys want to keep up with me, don't forget to follow me on social media, McDrew on Instagram and underscore McDrew on Twitter so I can chat with you guys when I'm not here uploading and you guys can see what other weird face paint looks I come up with next. And I think that's it for me today guys thank you guys for letting me be creative and do something a little out of the box today i hope to see you guys in the next one bye guys